is what they don't want to trade for. They want something for him. So we'll see what else they can get for the Dolphins. But I'll also tell you this. And you guys can laugh at home about, you know, millennials or whatever. And reported that he unfollowed the Arizona Cardinals on Twitter and Instagram. And we say, ha, oh, that's a silly story. I think a lot of teams tend to be well, that's Josh Rosen. Yep. And if that's Josh Rosen, what are we getting here? I know it's a bigger deal, maybe we're making something of it. But Steve, you're a former player. You've been, like, when you hear that kind of story that's on NFL Network and ESPN, what's your reaction? So here's my reaction. I look at my draft board, and I did my draft board when I was here at the, st at the stage. Second round, second pick, Nick Bosa. Right? Nick Bosa gets picked up. Uh, Solomon Thomas is on the 49ers. You don't think he, he's concerned about his job? If you're concerned about it, Thanks for playing with your damn fingers and going on Twitter and get your ass in the weight room to get ready to play some football. Every, every team is drafted. We got six rounds, six rounds in the next couple of days. Guys are getting replaced. You are replaceable. No one, they, they say in the league, the more you can do to help your opportunity. So now you're mad because they brought some competition in here, so you're going to try to take your ball. Well, first of all, son, it ain't your damn ball to take anyway. So you just keep playing with your phone. And you keep showing us what what the stigma of you and who you were was this uh, at UCLA. Now you brought it to the professional level to show us you're still going to, when things don't go your way, you're going to cry in the corner. But guess what? They're going to ship your ass home somewhere else and you're going to cry and be their problem. Listen, this is a man's game. Be a man and go against that man one-on-one. -on -one. He gets his job. You get 10 plays. Do your deal. Because he ain't got enough heart to be on that roster. He got to go out there and work his ass off. He don't want to work. He wants something given to him. Why aren't you putting this on the team at all? Shouldn't huh? they have dealt him the before it got to this point? For 16 years, Carolina. I've been trying to be replaced for 16 years my whole career because I was not the prototype. So should I have went home to my When they drafted before? Dwayne Jarrett in the second round, what is your reaction? He, he can't outwork me. In fairness, though, Steve, there's four receivers on a team, and they sometimes all line up on the field. There's one guy under center. So what do you have to do? you got to outperform that guy to be that guy. But he probably thinks, I don't have a fair shake because they brought in a new coach, that, and Kyler Murray yeah. runs his offense. So in Josh Rosen's eyes, I understand what you're saying. I get it, but that, this is why ball is so fun to watch because you allow people to dictate what you can't do, but you get the opportunity to go out there and show them, I can do it. That's what the combine says. This guy's too short. This guy's too small. This guy's too big. This guy didn't play at a big enough school. So you go out there, and you know what you do? You do like Kurt Warner do. You do like Brett Favre does. How is Josh Rosen all of a sudden different than all of the other 100 years, because this is our 100th year celebration, how all the other 100 years of all these other players that work their butt off to have strength and scrounge to get to where they are, to get the pinnacle of success. And he's mad because a draft, they have a draft every year, buddy. A draft is here, and they're saying that we're going to try to replace you. Everybody, they, what, are, what do we say during the season? Next man up. Injuries, what's the old, what's the old thing? Wally Pip. Wally Pip got hurt. And who started? Luke Garrett came Luke right Garrett. in. Wow. Oh, Luke Garrett is. Way, baby. So Wally Pip got mad at Luke Garrett. Is Luke Garrett mad to someone else? Well, the point didn't is, get Twitter back then. But, but the point is, <laughs> man, just play ball. Do your thing. I want to say this real quick before we get Mooch the coach. Well, I want to hear. Can you. I say so? Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, he's speaking, he's speaking to me. Don't talk to me. All, all I know is this: if you guys fill this chair with some other guy and kick Mooch out of here, I want to unfollow you and you <laughs> and you. <laughs> So, <laughs> you're going to waste your time looking for me. Give it to me in 30 seconds. Yeah. I, I, we all hear what you're saying, Steve, loud and clear, okay? But the part that's unusual, this is the, only the second time in those 100 years that a team has drafted a number one quarterback two times in a row. It's very strange, okay? Yeah, and so all of a sudden... Rosen, like him or not, is in a, a precarious situation. The new coach likes this guy better. What happens to me? God darn it. I thought it was the guy. I'm not. So all I know is if, if Miami can't work out a deal with him today, that bag of chips might not happen. 
Now, and he might end up on that team. No, and Josh Rosen, president. listen to me. Wait, for the I whole time, I'm draft before you know what? <laughs> you sit there and you fight for that job and you compete for that job and you let the chips fall where they may. Yes. All right, let's focus on rounds two and three.